Hello and welcome to the short video from Barnabas Junction. In this video I'm just working on some scenic work and I thought I'd just do this video to show you uh, what I'm using and what it looks like as it develops. Um, first of all I'll show you a small area that I've already done which is over there just to tilt the camera there we go I have acquired some um, acrylic paint to use as a test to see how it comes out and I am actually extremely pleased with it the paint itself is graduate acrylic from Hobbycraft I can't remember the price exactly because I bought this actually quite some time ago. Um, quite some time indeed, I'd say about nearly eight months ago. And I've completely forgotten how much it was. I think it was about £1.50 as a guess. But until I go and buy some more, um, I won't be able to remember. Um, Tetra de Ombre Brûlée. And for us English, that's Burnt Umber. Number 225 of the Della Rowney range at Hobbycraft um, and it is actually very good it's very versatile for its use I know it's just paint but what I've found out is um, if you want it a lighter colour just don't apply very much if you and this is when it's still wet as you actually put it on but if you want it really dark really put it on nice and thick now this is straight onto the plaster cloth, which I did on the hillsides. Um, it's not penetrated perfectly. You can still just about see some of the specks of the plaster cloth through it, but it's not too bad. Um, I can either go over it with another coat or it might not necessarily matter because when it's scenic with scatter grass and bushes and trees and stuff, it won't necessarily be able to see it anyway. But any really bad areas, I'll, I'll just do a, a second coat on. Um, I have applied some masking tape to cover over the strip across the front. So I'll wait for that to dry off there a little bit before I peel that off. But I thought I'd just show you um, myself doing this area here. So I've got myself a little pot. Just a small paintbrush. Squeezed a bit of the paint in. And just do that and simply apply like so. Let's say the thicker, the more you apply in an area, the darker it seems to become. Um, if you don't apply very much, just enough to cover the plaster cloth over, it seems to dry quite a bit lighter. Um, but yeah, that's it. So what I'll do now is I'll get this section all here finished off and then I'll give you a, a full overview of the finished product. See you in a bit. And if by magic, there we go. That's now all done with the first coat. I'll take you down now for a closer look. Have you, just before I do, um, I've used about half of that tube. It's, uh, it's 120 mil. I've used about half the tube to do all of that and that and there as it started I've just been like using the what was left on the paint just to start over there um, quite a good effect if actually if you were doing a snowy scene that would be um, it does actually look quite good but it's not staying like that. But anyway, um, I do have um, another colour to try as the back area there um, is going to be a rock face. So I do have um, a grey. It says natural grey. It's number 084. Grist Trail. So I'll be trying that 
Um, I'll let you know how I'll get out of that. That I'm going to use from the back. But I think I might put another layer of plaster clothing on there first. So it's quite thin. This here had three layers. I think these did. I did three layers on that. That's had three layers. But this back panel here, as I wasn't sure whether it was fully done yet, that's only had one layer. So I might apply some more first. Now another thing is, um, when doing this, it might have been a good idea to do the painting before I did the ballasting. Not 100% sure, it looks okay. But I have got some of it on the, the ballast, which in, it might be alright, might disappear. Um, you might be able to just see where the plastic cloth is not quite gone in, some white dots there. But I think the overall effect is quite good. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the different tones right there. Different tones of the paint. Some of it's a bit lighter. You see it's still wet here. And in certain areas it's darker, which is more noticeable here. There you go, you can see the differences, light and dark there. So it's, uh, you can definitely see there, you can see the light and the dark. So that's quite good. So um, there you go, that's this for this video. It's the first bit of painting. So it's graduate acrylic paints, uh, burnt umber from Hobbycraft. Um, I think it was about one pound twenty, one pound fifty a tube, um, and it's very impressed with it. It's uh, quite thick consistency, so it's very manageable. It's not runny, um, so it's, it goes on really well. Gets into all the nooks and crannies, as they say. But there you go, painting the hillside. Look out in future updates for how further that develops. But please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the old bell next to the subscribe button to be informed and notified immediately upon new updates from Barnabas Junction. So from me till next time, ta-ra, bye.